Hi everyone, we're here uh, at the rocky shore today um, doing some tide pooling. We found actually some different uh, species of uh, some algae in here. So we have uh, this particular species right here. Uh, this is a fucus. Um, and this actually, so the fucus and this seaweed here, the uh, ascophyllum, this actually, uh, the reproductive season is in the spring. So we are going to, it's a, still a little bit early right now, um, but as you can see on the fucus, all those little dots, um, what this does is it um, has a, uh, almost like a small little bubble that forms on the end, and that's where uh, the eggs of the algae stay in there and then at a certain time of the year, usually during the spring, uh, mid to late spring is when they're released. The same thing with the ascophyllum here, but we're kind of early in the season still. These are a couple different uh, pieces of seaweed and we also have some sea lettuce right here, this green. Um, it's pretty much covering this rock, so a lot of different animals um, eat this too. Uh, the periwinkles, you can kind of see there's a periwinkle right now, or right there, and he's starting, he's actually eating some of the, the sea lettuce that's on this rock. You can kind of see his trail um, along there. This is a type of uh, brown seaweed. Uh, this is a, a sugar kelp. This is just a little blade. So this is much different than these other seaweeds where they have a lot of different uh, kind of blades and pieces that stick out. The uh, sugar kelp is mostly just one blade. This is a very small one. Um, but these can get to more than like six feet long. 